Welcome to the faith. Welcome to the faith. All the faith out. That's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we do. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We will. Hello, once again, welcome to WDB Center Stage. I'm talking to one of the most prolific and profound and gifted young men in America. That's right, on Friday, December the 9th at 6.30 p.m., this starts at 7 o'clock, he's going to be celebrating 30 years of ministry and 30 years of music. So tonight, I just want to sit down and talk with this young brother. He's like a young brother to me. I mean, this brother has preached all over the world. He's preached in London. He's preached in Pakistan. He's preached in South Africa. This man has wrote, recorded, he's recorded some of the hottest names, recorded with some of the hottest names in the gospel music, in the gospel industry. He studied at Oxford in England. I mean, this guy is all that a bag of chips with extra dip. And he is East St. Louis's own. And we are so glad, so ignited, excited, and delighted that he comes back to his roots to celebrate his 30 years. It was East St. Louis, LaSalle Hills, Lincoln Senior High School, Friendship in St. John. That's right. Reverend Frederick E. Wilson, Jr. We know him as few, too. So we want you to mark your calendars right now, Friday, that December the 9th, 630. Get in there, and they're going to start at 7 o'clock. He's going to have some of the baddest musicians on the planet. It's called a Jasperation. We're talking about jazz, gospel flavor. I mean, making it happening on hit. So welcome back home to East St. Louis, Illinois. Reverend Frederick E. Wilson, Jr., as we all know. Butchie, how you doing, brother? Man, I'm good, big brother. Thank you for having me today, man. Man, thank you. Thank you for coming, man. As I told you, as we went on our tour of the Faith House, man, I am so excited. You know, watching you at 11 years of age right. come to the pulpit, 11 years of age being a musician, man. I remember uh, I believed in your gift so much. One of the baddest uh, 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 preachers on the planet came to Centerville. And they said, we need one of the most gifted musicians to, to play for him. And uh, people were throwing out all of these names. And all of a sudden, I threw your name out. They wow. said, man, we don't need a kid. I said, let me tell you something. Wow. He's not a kid on the keys. Wow. And so it was Donald Parsons. Yes, sir. You know, Donald Parsons at Pilgrim, Pilgrim Rest. And I called you. And I mean, you didn't, You just said, okay, Doc, I appreciate it. I will be there. Wow. And I tell you, you turned some heads there. And so I wanted to talk to you about your event. But, man, your history, your legacy, man, first of all, I don't know if uh, you and your family know, but you all were our Winans. You all were our Clark family. Everybody knew about the Wilson family. Man. Your mom and your dad, your, your father was a powerful preacher, a pianist. I mean, he was off the chain. I mean, gifted. And I mean, he just had all of the tools. And then your mom, she was our Maddie Moss Clark. Yeah. Because she directed one of the most phenomenal directors, one of the most exquisite dressers you ever want to see. Yeah. And could nobody wear a hat like, like your Anita mom, Wilson. the late Anita <laughs> Wilson. That's why when, when they had the home going celebration and they wanted videotape, I said, I got you. Wow. And so, man, I, I mean, I applaud you, man, for your strength, even that to, to be able to, to do the eulogy. But, man, I'm telling you, your, your family was, like I said, you all were our whiners. We, we, we looked up wow. to you. you. So everybody knew when the Wilsons came up in there. <laughs> Y'all were going to be singing. Now, we know that everybody know the nicknames, you know, Butchie and Riri, but he's actually Pastor Frederick E. Wilson, Jr., few two. He's a husband to Marcy. He's a father to two children. He's the baby brother to Frashawn and Anita. I mean, he is, he's the total package. So, man, we're just so glad of all of your accomplishments. Who would have ever thought? A young boy from East St. Louis yeah. would go to Chicago to pastor for 17 years of yes, Temple sir. of Glory International Church, yes, 17 years of pastoring to preach on other continents. Man. I mean, to go to South Africa and London and, and Pakistan and then to study ministry in England and Oxford University. I mean, man, it's it, it's all of that. And started humbly beginnings, Lincoln Jazz Band, yes, sir. playing around on the instruments everywhere, and then the Lord has elevated you. So so we're excited that you're coming home and you're going to do your roots. And we want all of East St. Louis and all of St. Louis. This young man has given so much for us. He's probably played for all of you at least once. And so this is the time to just 
just come out. I mean, it's just, you're talking about $10. We, we throw that away. But this man is actually worth 10 times that much. So I want to encourage you all to get him some of the greatest musicians, man. Man, you got brothers like uh, old preaching, playing uh, Anthony Wiggins. That's another gift, a gifted yes, young sir. brother. Yes, and I'm sir. telling you, man, I'm proud of all of y'all because, man, you all are authentic. You the real deal. You genuine. I mean, you know, ain't, ain't, no, ain't nothing fake about y'all. And that's what I like and I'm honored. So, 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 so I'll let me, what does this mean to you to come home after 30 years? It means everything everything man and it means everything to be received at home sometimes you go away and when you come back you're not received man but East St. Louis has always been my home and will always be man and so when we celebrated 30 when I came up on 30 years uh, from 41 uh -huh. I started playing and preaching at 11 I said I gotta do something uh -huh. this year oh yeah my church is doing a banquet in Chicago I've been there pastoring 17 years but I say it didn't start in Chicago that's right. uh -huh. it started in East Boogie that's come right on, that's somebody. right that's right I tell that's them right East Boogie in that's Chicago right. they don't know what I'm talking about they don't know what's up with that. <laughs> they don't know what's up with that. So I said, man, uh, and it's all relationship. Uh -huh, yeah. It's all relationship. I just had this idea. Let me come home. Let me do a concert. So one thing led to another. Mm -hmm. I talked to Wig, uh -huh. uh, Anthony Wiggins. He started it. He's going to be the musical director that awesome, night. Awesome, Put the whole band together. Montez Coleman, Laurent Stover, all the Lincoln uh, greats. Oh, my goodness. Uh, coming back together to do it, man. And so it really means the world to me uh -huh. to be able to celebrate where it all started. And it, actually the weekend, December 9th, is the weekend that I preached my first sermon. Now, that's awesome, brother. Second Sunday of that's December awesome. 1986 at Friendship Baptist Church, 17th and Tudor. <laughs> Is big, where I preach my first. Big Jerry Curl, y'all. Big, big Curl. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't as big as he is, so I'm trying to be like you, big brother. <laughs> well, man, I'm telling you, man, uh, uh, you're talking about awesome, man. I'm telling you, you know you got to be special because today is my high school state championship football game. Yes, sir. And I said, okay, I'm going to have to run a little late because this is this is my brother. So y'all got East Side, East Side and Lincoln on the, on we the do. set. We on, do. On the set. I, I see orange, orange and, and blue. Orange and blue. All right. So, but see, I even put on orange and black. I, I, I would never do that. But, you know, we won. We, you know, we, we used to talk, but we are unified. That's and, right. And I say all the time, I said, if East St. Louis had had one school, we'd put Chicago out of business. Ain't that something? They, they were very fortunate that we split it up. You got the football players over here, the basketball players, and track and all of that. Yeah. But, man, I'm telling you, uh, uh, I'm, I'm so glad that you came home. A lot of times people forget. That's right. Their roots. That's right. And one thing I like about people like you, and even like JJK, Jackie, we grew up in the projects together. She was jumping over uh, over uh, car hoods That's right. <laughs> before she got hurdles and stuff. But she never stops. You know, she doesn't get out in Washington and say, "Oh yeah, uh, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri." That's right. I give another. She, you know, she does her thing. And talking about Washington D.C., not only have you preached across the globe, you've been at the White House and getting ready to go back to the White House. Man, I mean, what's the feeling to walk on White Ho White House? soil. It's, it's humbling, man. Come on, man. From East Boogie to the White House. I, I tell everybody from the Rice House at Lincoln <laughs> all the way to the White House, man. I like it. I love it. Yeah, so we got a call, man, to come. Someone heard our choir, Chicago Christian Choir. Uh -huh. I started a choir. Awesome. We sang back up for Barbara Streisand. Oh, I remember that. Oh, at yeah. At the United Center. And someone heard us at that concert, 18,000 people. Jesus. Someone heard us at that concert, recommended us to sing at the White House last year. And it was great. The president wasn't there last year. He was on vacation. But we're told that he's supposed to be there this awesome, year. Awesome. So I'm going to meet him, uh, hopefully, in First Lady Obama. And we'll be going for our second uh, tour at the White House. Man, that is amazing. God is amazing, It's man. amazing the doors that God can open favor. when you're humble and real. And thank God the favor ain't fair. Praise God. Because. Oh, if right. people had the connections and stuff, they would never connect us. Mm. And that's why I was telling you, man, uh, in my new book on this chapter called It's Not Who Calls You. That's right. It's Who Called You. And if you know who called you, then he's got doors that no man can shut. And so people have to realize that. And, man, I'm telling you, man. So tell me about that night. What what, what you and Wiggins and them got up y'all's sleeve? I know y'all going to bring it. You just don't, don't give them everything. You got to come see them. Yeah, but, we but, can't but, let it all yeah, out. Just give them a little, a little appetizer. Man, you know what, man? It's going to be an awesome time of fellowship, first mm -hmm. of all, bringing people together. I'm not sure all these cats have played together it, probably in 30 years. <laughs> and so we got, you know, we're going to bring it together, man. It's called Jaspiration. God, okay. God gave me that, man. Sometimes we got to think outside of the box. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and, and uh, to reach a whole new generation. Yeah. So a lot of stuff I wrote, I'll be I'll be debuting awesome. some original stuff that night. We are recording it as well. Okay. And so this probably will be on a live CD next year, man. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, it's only, I wanted to speak to $10. $10. I hate, I didn't want to charge anything. Uh -huh. I don't want to come home and make people think I'm trying to make money off of people. We are sharing a portion of the proceeds with Cap Alpha. So I'm a Cap 
people. Oh yeah, that's why I forgot and, you. Uh, I forgot you. A new. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> and we're we're supporting uh, uh high school seniors through the Kappa's Guide Right program. Okay. So man, please come out support. We got the hottest musicians. We're gonna rearrange some old hymns, put some okay. jazz flavor on it. I got some surprise guests. I'm telling you, don't want to miss it. I can't let the cat out the bag yeah. of who's all gonna be there that night. But I mean, some people, uh, some families coming down, as well as some people that helped train us and made us who we are supposed to be in the house that night, man. And so. Well, you know, we looking forward to a good time. Well, man, I appreciate you because most time when people do something this big, they 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 feel like they gotta call the guy with the glitter jacket. I won't call no name <laughs> with the glitter jacket, but you know, everybody know, you know, you, you you know him. He's an ambassador and all this. But I'm telling you, man, you know, I've got a stage play production, and normally yeah. I don't do anything the night before. But when I found out that you it was your event, I am so excited to introduce this brother, to present him back to his hometown. And I'm telling you, another little brother, he's going to be at the Me Too Music, the new, fresh, off-the-chain facility of Levi 2 King. Right. Man, I'm telling you, man, you all just don't know. I tell two all the time. Uh, two is like a blood brother. That's right. Every banner you see, every book cover you see, Every, uh, most of all of my graphics, my plays, all of my trailers and stuff, yeah. all of that is from the genius mind of Levi to King. He's amazing. And to watch y'all brothers grow up, man, from, from little cats. Man. And now y'all major cats. Like I say, he, he's he got his own music company now. Right. And I mean, on, on graphic design. And, and, and you've written for not only for yourself, for other people and stuff. So uh, how hard has it been to stay humble? Oh, man. It, well, it's not hard at all when you know where you come from. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I tell people, they talk about it, Oxford and all that. It's favor. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing that I did. Mm -hmm. It's nothing that, you know, I got to Oxford, man. Another East St. Louis, uh, per, Bishop Kenneth Oldman, yep. he invited me to come to Oxford, man. It's, he simply wanted a praise and worship leader to come there. And so every step of the way, man, if it was something that I did, mm -hmm. if I had the money or if I had yeah. the hookup, I could brag on yeah. it. But when you know it's God, God. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. It, 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 uh, what's that James 4 says? God gives grace to the humble. That's right. That's and so, right, man. When you stay low, God knows how to bring you. That's high, right. Man. That's right. And you're a perfect example that's of that, right. man. God is doing some amazing things in your life, and I just want to say that to you publicly on, you. on TV, man. That you have been an inspiration to me all these years, and thank you for opening the doors that you did. I'm honored to be your brother, and thank you for opening the faith faith house to me, man. I well, man, I'm, I'm I'm honored to be your brother, man. Yes, sir. And I was gonna bring up Bishop Ulmer because Bishop Ulmer, uh, he coined the phrase for you. He said this young man has a ridiculous anointing. You, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. He did say that. Yeah, yeah, Bishop Kenneth always said he has a ridiculous anointing. That's exactly what And I'm telling you, you uh, uh, couldn't have said man. it any better. Wow. Because I know when I when I went to Chicago with Charles Jenkins at yeah. the ship and uh, uh, you got up there, man, I'm telling you, the, the whole atmosphere shift wow. because you, you came with, with an anointing. And that's what you have to understand. You're not just going to get a, a concert that's right you're going to get a fellowship love and i'm so glad that you mentioned that that, that, that there's also going to be proceeds giving back that's to, right. to help somebody out you know, we have got to learn to give back we that's have right. got to learn to network in east st louis and st louis we have got to erase the bridge and the gap and we have got to get into supporting each other that's right brother. you know it's a shame you know a gospel artist got to have about 50 people on the ticket yeah. to charge ten dollars yeah. or to charge fifteen dollars, yeah. and then you have somebody like Beyonce come and she fill up the Edward Jones dome. Come on, man! And you talking about two hundred dollars and up? Yes, sir, man. And her and Jay Z gonna take all that money. They gonna take it. They ain't gonna leave. Ain't gonna leave a dime in the community. No, sir. But all across the city, when people when people travel up to them. And they, 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 they bypass friendship. That's right. Listen, man, that's what Butchie started at, man. Started. Go yes, to the same job, man. I mean, people know. They know they've seen you on the organ. How many times have you have you played for people and they didn't even say, hey, man, here, get your curl trimmed up, get, get some gas, a dime. Here we go. Welcome to the faith. Welcome to the faith. All the faith. Faith welcome. That's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we do. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We welcome you. 